Hello everyone, uh, Racing Branding is here again for you. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the second episode of Our Way to A+. Um, it was um, around Monza. It was a pretty, pretty nice experience uh, overall. Uh, I did uh, only one race, although as you can see for a second I thought that uh, I'm not going to start this race. Uh, but somehow it I have no idea what, what happens there from time to time it's just like this ridiculous things happen sometimes and then suddenly everything is 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 perfect so I don't know what to say so we were lucky to to get out of of the pit lane and um, I didn't practice enough I would probably say and I didn't expect any amazing results so to say but i th i thought i was i was pretty decent uh, around this track and uh, i watched a little bit uh, of streams of other tops uh, like uh, top guys from this game and i i got an idea of what and how should be done around this track so yeah a little bit lazy from from my side i didn't do it myself uh, just watched someone who gave me a hint how it should be done. Uh, so it's um, uh, it was already some time ago. I unfortunately did, I didn't have time for uh, for the for the video, and unfortunately I'm doing it only now because it's already uh, you know it's uh, Christmas is in a couple of days and then uh, New Year's Eve so. And uh, now finally I have some time. So we found uh, for our first um, outlap, we found some slipstream, but unfortunately a little bit too much of slipstream here. And we're right behind of, of this uh, Spaniard uh, who actually makes a mistake. We make a mistake um, like on, on the way out of this S section. Uh, I cut a little bit the, the right corner and uh, this lap was gone. Um, unfortunately for us we we had to abandon this lap. So I just decided to, to go for, for a new set of boots and then I would try again. But and because of the length of the track I thought it's going to be only one chance for me uh, to get a decent lap for, for our quality. So we are for fast forwarding the, the, the slow one, um, I, I'm not sure, maybe I'm going to just try to go, no, no, I'm not going, so uh, <laughs> good for me, because the, the tires, they were not anymore at their top condition, uh, so we, uh, I thought that maybe I should, I should go quicker to the, um, to the next lab, because you never know what, 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 what happens. So it's nice always to have a, a back backup lap or some extra seconds so that you would have a chance to start uh, another lap. Um, That's why I, I, I stopped dumping fuel and just just went for it. <coughs> Overall, it was uh, it was fine. Uh, I think during the during the race and during the quality it was it was fine experience I, I i didn't have any any major issues though this this guy behind us he he really wants to stay in uh, in our um slipstream i convinced him that i'm going to be uh, jerking around for some time there uh, and then i just uh, went for the lap and he he didn't react on this and um that's how we we get get rid of his um his appearance in our mirrors but anyways he he already shown second time so it should be more than enough for him to have a nice um, position on the grid so we go for for another lap uh, for me it was the most difficult section is this s uh, corner here uh, it's like the most difficult one for me I watched 155 times how uh, like <laughs> good drivers go through this corner uh, I looked many times and I tried to copy them and unfortunately it just doesn't work I have no idea because they they break somewhere uh, from where I cannot get into the corner or I just simply cut it 
so it was very frustrating for me and as you as you could see I made a mistake so I tried to um, nurture the, the the tires to the next lap uh, do not span any any of the tires because <laughs> I didn't yet set uh, the, the time so I was just hoping for for no traffic uh, around this lap and this is probably my my last chance although we did 150 it was 14th position it meant that uh, not only me not only I am in this type of situation there are a couple of more guys so <coughs> we're gonna go again and again this S section is our problem we are going to see how it went how did it go for us this time so just after 150 meters board uh, I braked and I thought for a second that the first one was a corner cut but thank god it wasn't otherwise I would be completely screwed uh, it was nice here uh, I think I could be a little bit more faster maybe half a tenth probably this one was was okay uh, could be a little bit faster but uh, but it was decent and I was kind of happy with this with this lap uh, for the moment and I was expecting to get a little bit of slipstream from the guy in front of us this is uh, Ving Chung Tinka uh, nice guy uh, we had some very nice races together and um, uh, we are saying hi always to each other it's it's very nice to see him again and again in the room uh, so um, it went okay uh, through the last sector uh, we found the maybe it was a little bit too slow but we found the apex in uh, in the last corner and this is it we are going to show 146 zero which wasn't a great lap uh, unfortunately for us I was ready to do some 45s uh, mid 45s but this is what it is but mm, as you can see we have a number 12 on our car so we should be kind of happy being on uh, on p9 for the start so as always um, just checking the the tires uh, at this moment it was still possible to do the mixtures to mix the different types of uh, um, of tires so I decided to go with the soft one in the front and mediums uh, on the back um, as probably you already know uh, it's already banned and uh, we cannot do these type of things and I am very happy that that it is the case now because otherwise it's it just went too complicated and um it was really difficult for me to 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 think about the strategy how to where to put it and basically it's just uh, the way to avoid the regulations to avoid the fact that you have to use a certain compound of tires which is i which which i find um stupid and and uh, i'm happy they they fixed it so uh, we are uh, starting from P9. We have some uh, some other buddies uh, in this lobby. Uh, some guys from from Russia. This dude from Croatia is sometimes he's furiously fast. Sometimes he's just mediocre. I have no idea what, what what's going on with this guy. <coughs> but um, anyways uh it's it's nice to see him uh, always around because he always provides some some nice moments so let's go we have uh, 15 laps to go and we start on this mix and um, we have to we have to stay long we have to take care of of the tire we have to avoid fighting at all costs and I'm going to be trying to do this although it's very hard being just in the middle of the pack um, so starting from ninth position there, there is not much to do um, because we are going to be probably faster than than some people and some people are going to be faster than us from behind so some clashes are unavoidable 
so we are gaining gaining crazily on this on, on this porsche in front of us and i i didn't know what to do and i i i, I left i i just left off a little bit because uh, i didn't want to 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 attack right right here um and in this uh, section that that i really dislike so to say and look at the raider what's going on we have already someone on our left and he does the double dive does the double dive which is uh, which i found ridiculous just ridiculous so this czech guy managed to to pass me through this uh, weird action um i don't know still sometimes i find people just taking some ridiculous decisions because it's too there's not enough space for three cars why would you do this on the very first lap it's so dangerous you're going like it's very uh probably uh you are, are going to uh lose time lose positions and if someone is not excuse me for my modesty if someone not like me just decide to fight back if i didn't leave the room if i didn't just go wide it would have uh, finished badly and anyways so we go on uh we have a very nice pass on this uh porsche it uh, reminded me of schumacher and, and hakene and zonda this remarkable overtake if you haven't seen it just just type in uh in the search in youtube uh hakenen and schumacher and zonda it was it was amazing so um a uh, russian driver just uh, thanked us i actually didn't understand why exactly maybe for um, clean driving i don't know but uh, i decided not to fight him because i thought maybe he's going to be faster than us and he has um, he should have his his, his chance Again, two cars in one corner, someone makes a mistake and we are passing them. We're back uh, at P9. So for now, it just uh, everything is okay. Someone makes a mistake. We are going to P8. Italian guy on, on the Porsche is right behind us and we have to take care and, and, and look back from time to time because uh, uh, they actually they uh, don't have enough speed actually to attack this is our Czech guy who uh, <laughs> made this three-way into the f second corner in, in this trick in this case because of the absence of the first chicane um, so because of the because of the slipstream it was very hard or maybe impossible for the Porsche behind us to make a move uh, but we had to pay uh, a little price for this. We were spending quite a lot of fuel. This moment, as you can see, uh, some fights around this this corner, uh, this S section around this chicane. Uh, um, it was a mistake from a Russian driver, and uh, I had to I had to go for it because I I just couldn't uh, um, I just couldn't be slower because the the guy behind me would would just started uh, attacking me so unfortunately i i got this uh, half second penalty uh, around the uh, last corners of of the last sir um, in the penultimate corner uh, of the last sector uh, and um, you are going to see in the end um, of the video why um, i am so sorry for for these little mistakes now uh, back like at the moment I uh, which was like okay fine it's just half a second it's gonna be okay but actually this little mistakes half a second here half a second there and then it costed us uh, a couple of positions and you're going to see why so we're uh, behind this Spanish guy Poluf um, he was all the time uh, just a little bit in front of us and they were all the time switching the position uh, with uh, with the Czech driver in front of us because of the slipstream and the absence of slipstream in front so the guy in front is very much exposed as you can see by the end of the next lap uh, we see again they are, they are exchanging the positions I'm going to the right I, I, I give a little bump to, to the Spanish guy and I was hoping that, that he would pass uh, so 
so he did and I, I just wanted to, to throw a little bit more of, of coils uh, into the flame and actually it kind of worked because um, Czech guy got, got his um, one second penalty and it works perfectly uh, perfectly for us because he is going to drop back although he's overtaking the, um, the Spanish guy it's not going to help around this trade <coughs> so the Czech guy goes down and now we are behind the Spanish guy who is without any slipstream in front and he's going to be kind of as they say sitting duck uh, although as you can see our left front tires are not happy at this moment and we are starting to struggle uh, little by little in the corners still our straight line speed is, is pretty fine and, and as you can see we are going to make a pretty pretty easy pass on this um, um, driver in, uh, in front of us now already behind us on the Ferrari so we are getting P4 which is kinda great after we started on P9 <coughs> and only three seconds behind the third so I thought everything is possible especially if we play our cards right uh, this was a very weird moment uh, we got a little bump from behind and uh, I think we, we spent a little we, we lost a little bit of time there anyway we are, we're fast forward into the end of this lap we had to change the tires and I had to refuel just a little tiny bit because we spent this extra fuel being all the time literally 95% of time we were in the slipstream of someone and this made our engine rev like hell all the time as you can see uh, the guy on, on our left uh, is kinda dangerous man uh, <laughs> and this was ridiculous how we how we let each other go and at this moment uh, yeah the guys behind they actually have to to, to be slower and it's again this this, this Russian guy I, I went for a very late break because uh, I, I needed it I needed it to 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 stay for the position uh, and thank God we we didn't get any um, uh, any penalty and here unfortunately I, I bumped a couple of times the Russian guy in front of us I uh, I of course I apologized uh, for for what happened. I of course I didn't mean that. It's just the difference between uh, fresh um, tires and old tires is very significant, and I just didn't feel the the difference from from the very beginning. So now look at look at this thing. How early how early the Russian guy started started to break and. Uh, I, I went for it because uh, I I didn't react to his brakes because he he started to brake like 30 minutes uh, th 30 meters before before the braking point and unfortunately this thing happened thank God I reacted good enough for this and he managed to to stay alive in the in the corner but uh, as we are going to see he is going to um, as far as I remember, yes, he's going to change his boots and we are uh, P7 at the moment. And the French guy who passed us when we were uh, getting out of the pit lane is already almost two seconds in front of us. Uh, here's the, the, the guy from, from Sweden who lets us go um, because I have been already... Uh, in the situation when uh, some people are trying to defend this type of situation which is which is a, a horrible mistake and uh, it's just it's just bad attitude but it happens but I was I was happy and lucky to to be in a different situation so as you can see here is my next half second mistake we're at the moment p6 uh, it was not even a half second, it was one second mistake and we are going to pay for this badly. As I already mentioned, <laughs> you are going to see what's gonna happen. Um, it's our one second and we are, I felt how we can be faster than this guy in front of us and we could go for it but unfortunately we have to, uh, we have to give the second, let 
the Spanish guy we were already in front of. Uh, we ha had to let them go and another car and it was, it was, yeah, it was bad. P8, our buddy from, from Britain, Ving Chun Tinka, is in front of us, but as far as I understood, his tires were literally dying of a very long and painful death. So uh, it wasn't hard at all to to pass him and you are going to to see the move right now uh, so this was already one and a half second of, of penalties from my side um, and but but we are still in the fight as you can see there is a p6 p5 p4 and p3 just in front of us so we are in the mix we're ready to fight for p3 at the moment a Spanish guy pays his one second for probably the same mistake that I made. Uh, so we are P6 and we are even closer to P3 and to possibility to fight for for the P3. And um, one friend of mine, a uh, very nice driver, he, he reminded me before the race uh, we were chatting, he told me, Nick, uh, take care, like, like tires is very important, just, just be as careful as you can. And I felt uh, towards the last laps of the race that I managed my tires better than the others, at least better than the others I was in the mix with. And I I felt I'm going to have a real opportunity, I'm going to have a real chance to overtake these guys. I was very, very keen to, to be in this, um, in this mix. And... Um, you're gonna see what's uh, what's gonna happen in uh, in some minutes. Um, we have P5, P4, and P3 just going a little bit faster than us, and uh, there is even a P2 in front of us. I see there is this Membe Mouse, another Brit. So we are very close. We're extremely close, every one of us, and. It's two laps to go and I had to look at the fuel as well as well as on, on the tires all the time but still I felt in every single corner corner I felt that there is a chance and I can be uh, a little bit faster here a little bit faster there there is um, uh, this moment there is a weird situation where this guy this French guy he, he wanted so badly to cover this, uh, after making mistake, he was trying to to cover this uh, space, which was uh, very wrong of him. But under the pressure from him behind, I make another mistake uh, in the same place. I get another second, and uh, I was I was furious because it's it's uh, penultimate lap. I I am so quick. I felt so good, and I made this mistake. This is what what happens when you do not trust other guys next to you because after this little moment i immediately lost all my trust to this guy and i was expecting him to make a mistake or to i don't know just just furiously uh kick me from from behind um and i just misjudged the the breaking zone and uh, i made this this stupid mistake and now i'm going to to pay the price. So, next lap after serving the second, I managed to get back to these guys. This time the Frenchman defended beautifully. Here he put the car right where it should be and there was nothing else for me to do but to bump him from behind, although I think I, I left a little bit off. And this is the last, last corner. Our uh, tires are very old and, and tired of, of this race and this was our last chance we managed to stick our nose there and we have uh, a quicker trajectory to the to the finish line and unfortunately we just didn't have quite enough it was eight milliseconds between us eight milliseconds and imagine it's just only one second uh, until the guy in front of us, until the third position, only one second. And I spent two and a half seconds just breaking like a stupid man uh, on the back straight. 
and second time it was uh, just thing because it's one second penalty and I how much time did I spend there actually so it could be easily a fight for uh, for a second or even for a win so let's take something out of it be careful and try to trust other guys going up the ladder uh, in the rating system Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe, to like the videos and to stay with me, to stay tuned and to enjoy the way to A+. Bye bye!